Yeah, we have a big race call right now. Uh, WPRI 12 can project Seth Magaziner has won the second congressional district race after well over $10 million was spent. Republicans had very yeah. high hopes. Kevin McCarthy himself wanted this race, but after the mail ballots came in, Joe, I think we have those numbers available. Seth Magaziner has about 50.9% uh, in the raw totals. Right, and the thing we found out was Alan Fung won the machines, just like two years ago when Jim Langevin was trailing on the machines. But the mail ballots overwhelmingly for Seth Magaziner, early voting Seth Magaziner. And again, they always seem to go Democrat in Rhode Island. And you see the results there, 51 to 46 right now for Seth Magaziner. Frankly, not a very close race. And I'm struck, Joe, 46 percent for Alan Fung. He had basically that number in both of our yes. polls, in the Boston Globe's polls. He never moved no. and built beyond that number, which was no. always the little fear they had in Fung's campaign. How were they going to get those last yeah, few They points? never got there in the last couple of weeks. The magazine the campaign turned towards the economy and what people were concerned about. I think that helped push him over the top. He did very well in South County, but also in the city of Cranston, only lost about 1,400 votes. Yeah, uh, so a real hard campaign by the Democrats. You saw a lot come in at the end to get Seth Magazine over a finish line. And they have held that seat, one that they have had since 1990 when Jack Reed flipped it before his time in the U.S. Senate.